PhD Queen here. It is Thursday afternoon and today's topic I thought I would go into um, is about research diaries and I'm sure many PhD students keep research diaries as a way of tracking not just your progress but keeping a list of accomplishments, achievements, successes, failures, things you hand in and I found them really really useful. My PhD journey has been a mixture of handwritten notes that keep a good track record of my research and my current obsession with the new Apple iPad pencil. Now I do keep research journals that are handwritten and thesis chapters that I'm dealing with get recorded, notes from way back, and also a daily task journal uh, that I keep a record of things that I've accomplished. Um, There are numerous physical journals that I have. Uh, Some also record my reading and my journal notes that I um, source out from these articles and books. Uh, The Literature Review in particular uh, saw me collecting much of these articles and books that were peer-reviewed. I also keep a bullet journal on the go when I need to jot down things quickly. I also have a self-care journal because my life can get quite demanding with a PhD and doctoral study requires uh, this very tricky balance. But the writing has been for me seeing and paying attention. It has helped me to understand, consolidate and synthesize much of my reading and observation as an ethnographer. And also quiet time has been important. I've had to seek out dates for myself in which I could have quiet time to reflect and to think, to put together things. And then there's also going out there and meeting people and Skype supervision dates with my professor um, are normally diarized. And the minutes uh, to these agendas that I draw up are usually disseminated quickly after these Skype supervision meetings. I also have face-to-face meetings with my supervisors um, where I attend university physically um, and these meetings are usually very very um, enjoyable because I really get to interact. I also schedule regular time to listen to audiobooks. I am an auditory learner so this helps me a lot where I will listen to podcasts and the key researchers in my area. So these are some of the things that go on as I fill up my calendar. There is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes um, other than what I've spoken about. Um, Dates go on in terms of Um, making time to read the literature, uh, making time to synthesize the literature and also uh, data collection dates. I also keep a very, very um, stringent list of everything I do so that I could have this in one place um, to disseminate in the annual progress review that I normally have at the end of every year in my PhD. I'm now in my second year and I've completed one annual progress review. And obviously there's life like grocery shopping and getting things for tea ready and those very, very um, quick international travel dates uh, where I go off for short periods of time in the year um, to the University of Wolverhampton where I study and these dates have to be scheduled way in advance with my supervisors. Uh, Mind maps form an important part of my note-taking. I often do mind maps and they help me through my research to get my thoughts down. I also have to manage my financial life as a PhD student, so that is something I document. And those trips to the library, those late-night meetings with peers or studying alone. Uh, Sometimes the librarian at Paris Sorbonne University meets with me. And then there's the field notes that get taken down where I would travel out 
at points in my research to interview participants. Um, hotel stayovers become part of these um, endeavors and then there is always getting in touch with participants and going back to the reading that is so very much a part of being a PhD student and then my peer group meetings which I really enjoy. And then there's always meeting key researchers in my area, professors in my field. And in the next vlog, I want to tell you how I take digital notes and keep records digitally uh, because I'm now currently obsessed with the new Apple iPad Pencil uh, that I managed to get. And this has helped me to physically keep notes uh, where... I can still have the benefit of writing things down because I find that writing um, actually keeps my brain uh, engaged with the material that I'm looking at. Uh, I'm not very uh, fond of just typing away, whereas writing tends to um, engage me in my work thoroughly. So I want to end this vlog by thanking you, you my subscribers who patiently um, go through this journey with me and thank you very much for subscribing and all your lovely comments.